gonna take four. Yeah, so, caster is a wheel's ability to go in the direction of travel. Technical term, okay? So, if you're going forward, the wheel wants to go forward, okay? When you have enough caster, the wheel will go back to center. Kind of like a grocery cart, you know, the wheels always spin around backwards, right? That's negative caster. A little bit different. But with the uh, uh, improvement of power steering and stuff like that, we've been able to go from negative caster to positive caster. Because on old vehicles, they used to use negative caster, okay? So, negative caster. But I'm not an artist, and so bear with me here. of travel going this way, right, and the wheel over here, like so, this is negative caster, okay, so this is straight up and down, right, 90 degrees, there's your road, just like a grocery cart wheel, right, all right, so you stop, and this wheel wants to stay that direction, right, so without power steering, you used to have negative caster like this, like a grocery cart, okay, it's incredibly hard to steer, steering all over the road, right, road walk a little bit. It's kind of hard to do uh, that stuff. Now with positive caster, power steering, it has allowed this to stay centered and forward, right? And it's easier to turn with power steering because if you don't have power steering, you have a lot of positive caster. You know as well as I do, it's hard to turn the wheel. So, the uh, center line down the middle of here, right, in the direction of this uh, here, up here is your caster angle okay so this is straight up and down flat and this is your caster degree angle right here okay when you have two wheels like so the road right you look at a road most of the time it's like this right the center of the road you have one wheel here like so one wheel down here, like so, okay? This wheel needs to be just ahead of this wheel on caster, so it has to be at least a half degree to one degree split in caster on each side. Now what this does is it allows this wheel to sit just ahead continue traveling up the hill slightly ahead of this wheel, which keeps the vehicle going straight down the road. Now, let's talk about camber, okay? Camber, right, your road slopes at an angle like this, so the vehicle is going to sit slanted with the road, correct? So what happens is, is the tires have more pressure on the inside and the outside, on the right side, and the inside on the left side, correct? So, we have to push this wheel out positive, right, which is away from the vehicle at the top. This is your camber angle right here, and this is your camber angle here. And this needs to be negative on this side. Generally around a quarter, right, between an eighth and a quarter. Quarter, quarter, quarter negative, quarter positive. This allows the tire to sit more true with the road on the bottom vehicle stays on the plane, on the flat plane of here, crown of the road. So this allows for optimal tire wear, okay? So that way the tire is wearing all the way across. So that is camber in a nutshell. Thank you. If you like the video, whenever I miss something, let me know. Um, so you kind of get an idea of what caster and camber is. Leave. That's all. I mean, yeah. I'll try to answer more questions. Ask more questions.